My name is Alison Brown, and I'm going to be talking about the work and legacy of social worker and penal reformer Alexander Patterson. His life is important not only for the history of penal reform, but for the development of social welfare provision more generally, and not only in Britain, but in many other countries around the globe. Alexander Patterson was, and remains, the individual most identified with interwar penal reform in Britain. He was unusually adept at promoting his work in the media, and by that I'm largely talking about newsprint media, but more than that, his life resonates with the achievements of a body of influential contemporary men with liberal ideas, experience of social work, and also experience of war service. Before the First World War, he spent over 20 years doing youth work in the East End of London. And that experience he wrote up in a landmark social work text called Across the Bridges, which was published in 1911 and is still widely consulted. He also became assistant director of an organisation to help discharge prisoners and also, importantly, of the Borstal Association in its early days. During his war service, he was awarded the Military Cross and also twice recommended for the Victoria Cross. The serious wounds he received while rescuing a comrade caused him pain for the rest of his life. Although he left military service as a captain, he was said to initially have refused a commission in order to join the local territorials with his lads from the Oxford and Bermondsey Boys Club. After the First World War, he co-founded an organisation called TOC H. That organisation was a Christian movement for soldiers which promoted values of public service and social unity, and which developed into a major social work institution before its decline from about the 1970s. Perceived as a progressive, he was appointed to the Prison Commission in 1922. He was particularly interested in the Borstal system for young offenders who were less inured in a career in crime. And he instigated reforms on the model of public schools, which emphasised loyalty, obedience and self-reliance. A measure of goodness, he asserted, could be found in most bad boys. Patterson was seen by many as the dominant figure on the Prison Commission between 1922 and his retirement in 1946, at which point he was awarded a knighthood and became Sir Alexander Patterson. He endeavoured throughout his career to direct policy towards progressive reform of the prison system, and he acted to defend those reforms when challenged. In 1932, he was one of two men who investigated the cause of the large-scale prison disturbance in Dartmoor convict prison. Now, Dartmoor was one of two prisons in England which held the most serious offenders and had already by that time accrued a particular um, uh, heavily laden reputation associated with the serious kind of, with the offenders that it held. Alexander Patterson brought to the Depark investigation insider knowledge, but also insider interests. The report itself exonerated contemporary reforms and effectively, and to my mind by design, quashed debate which challenged them. Ultimately, his reformative approach and ideas underpinned the Criminal Justice Act of 1948, which framed criminal justice reforms for 30 years or more afterwards. Patterson's impact on penal reform was also international, and he observed and reported on prison systems not only in Europe, but also North America, Canada, Burma, the West Indies, Somalia, and many other countries. He was active in the preparation of the standard minimum rules for the treatment of prisoners for the League of Nations, and these minimum rules were later endorsed by the United Nations and are still widely used today. Alexander Patterson is an important historical individual, an important historical reformer, because he sought to help the poor and divert them from crime. He sought to improve prison conditions. 
Importantly, he reflected a new liberal ethos of active citizenship and moral and social improvement, which was a powerful influence not only on penal reform, but on reformist policy during the first half of the 20th century in Britain generally. Also, such ideas have not just died with Alexander Patterson. As I've said, they were embedded in criminal justice legislation, which was influential into the 1970s, but also the ideas about social responsibility, ideas about society uh, composing more of an organic whole, are still with us and regularly appear in political rhetoric in the early 21st century. <laughs> 